What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. You know I had to drop an iOS review for at least one of the Plus devices and I figured I might as well do it for the iPhone 8 Plus. As you guys know or you might have seen by now, iOS 13 Beta 3 just came out and honestly it's kind of a roller coaster because at first I was like super happy about it. I wasn't even expecting a beta. I was expecting a beta next week. I had all these other videos laid out for today but this one had to take the toll and I'm telling you right now, this beta has probably too many problems for me to even recommend people to go update to iOS 13 right now. I would even wait off for the public beta until beta 4 comes out and even then I would probably wait a little bit longer. And the reason is like, first of all, this update came out about like 500, 600 megabytes. So it was a pretty big update to begin with. But the weird thing, and that was pretty much on all my devices. And the weirdest thing is, is that I was expecting this to be a bug fixing update. You know, not too many features already needed to be added with iOS 13 to begin with. It's already a feature packed update. But the weirdest thing is, is like as soon as I even booted up my iPhone 10 on iOS 13 beta 3, like I noticed the problems that people were already having. And as you can see, I'm already demonstrating it. Like with the touch screen, that's the biggest problem is the touch screen sensitivity. When I'm scrolling through when I'm doing things like 50% of the time, probably a little bit less, but still way more than on iOS 12 or even iOS 13 beta 2, my device is just like not registering the touch screen, which is so weird. I wasn't expecting that. Like sometimes, like if I touch an app or something, like sometimes it won't register, but more so when I'm scrolling through, that's when I'm seeing it the longest and the most frequent, as you can see. Like it's like, that's a humongous thing. That's a huge way of how we interact with the phone. And I know it's just temporary. Like I'm just complaining about it now so Apple can hurry up and fix it because there's tons of people who are like out there with devices that can't really function that well on iOS 13 beta 3. I understand they should expect to, you know, have bugs and this and that. And the reason I'm stressing it now is because July 4th is around the corner and, you know, and here in the United States, a lot of the companies are going to take the remainder of the week off. If they take off Thursday, and, and that's this Thursday, they might take off Friday as well. So really tomorrow is the only I'm getting iOS 13 beta 4, at least in the short term, at least until like next week. So hopefully Apple can push that update. The weirdest thing is though is that the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus from, from the get-go didn't even get this update. So maybe Apple saw that there was a problem there. But it's weird though, they still let this one get through. They let all the other iPhones get it. I would have rather waited at least like another day or even a week on Monday or Tuesday of next week to get this beta like I was already expecting. So I think it's a very weird thing, but there were some cool features added in this. There were some UI elements that changed for the most part. The coolest thing is though is you can now connect to two different AirPods at one time. So you can stream the same songs to whatever, but you have to make sure their AirPods are the second gen. The first gens apparently do not work, which it made me super salty. I feel like it was super unnecessary for them to do that, but it is Apple. They want people to buy the newest thing ever, so it may kind of makes sense for them to do that. Now I did run a benchmark and on iOS 13, the first beta, I had a multi-core score of 257,119, and I just re-ran it. And it did go down a little bit to 241,795. Is it a humongous jump? Not really. You know, if the multi-core score is already over like 200,000, then it's already good. But the fact is, is that we lost a little bit of performance. We lost a little bit of speed. We also lost a little bit of stability as well because of the screen issue, the touchscreen problems. Hopefully, I'm telling you right now, Apple, you guys need to push another beta hopefully soon. <laughs> Because if this is how the beta is going to be, you know, the public beta is coming out within like a week from now. So that means people who aren't even developers are going to start installing this on their devices. So hopefully Apple can fix this. I'm really hoping they will before the end of this week because, you know, I installed it on my main device. I probably shouldn't have. But that's the risk you take when installing a beta. So hopefully Apple can fix it. But that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that don't mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it'll mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, hold on.